another day of Gridmas is upon us and today I'm going to be showing you this holiday look that I am wearing so if you're going to be going to parties or if you just want a fun but wearable holiday look this is pretty much what I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to show you what I did and a couple outfit ideas as well. So yeah I guess we can go ahead and get started. All right first things first I gotta wash my face. So I love using my dew puff and on my dew puff today I am going to be using the Beauty Without Cruelty AHA Facial Cleanser. This is a soap free cleanser so it removes any kind of impurities and excess oils on your skin without stripping it. And there's some essential oils in there which help calm and condition your skin. After my face is clean and I dry it off it's time for moisturizer and I'm using the Simple Replenishing Rich Moisturizer which I love especially for this time of year. It's just really hydrating and gentle. And then it's time to bring in my eye cream and this one from Shiseido is one of my favorites. It's really creamy and it also works really nicely underneath makeup. And speaking of makeup, I'm going to be starting off by using my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer which is incredible. It hides your pores, mattifies your skin, and just makes it look nice and even. And then I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne which I wear almost every single day because it's just a beautiful base that you can wear on its own or you can put something over the top and today I'm using the Pixie by Petra fairy dust in brightening bear this just lights up your eyes and it's super pigmented too now I'm just gonna take my crown infinity shadow and crease duet brush and I'm going to use the crease brush side in my hourglass ambient lighting palette I'm using the middle color to really highlight the inner third of my eyes now you guys know I love me some winged eyeliner but I especially love it during the holidays so I am using Kat Von D's tattoo Two liner and I'm just carefully lining my upper lash line and creating a little wing at the end and not gonna lie I have my good days and my not so good days with winged liner so it's okay if you have to redo yours coming in here and curling my eyelashes and then it is time for mascara I'm using Tarte's light camera lashes 4-in-1 mascara and I love Tarte's mascaras this one lengthens curls and volumizes and it helps nourish and protect your lashes so if you want to check out this mascara I'm gonna have a link down below to ipsy.com where you can find this and some of the other things in my video. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using this one from CoverGirl and Olay. It's a de-puffing concealer which is really hydrating and also just helps cover up any dark circles you have. And then of course, I gotta have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation because I use it all the time and I'm just putting it on my face like I normally do. And then of course, I gotta show some love to my Browsy Brows. So I'm using Anastasia's Brow Wiz Pencil and I'm actually thinking about using the regular pencil or trying it out so let me know if that's good if you've tried it before. I have a new brow gel. This one is from Tarte and it's a tinted brow gel and I find that this just holds my brows better than the Benefit one so I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going back to that ambient lighting palette that I have and I'm using that same middle color on the shadow brush that I have and I'm sweeping it across my cheekbones to really just brighten up my complexion. And speaking of complexion, I have my NARS Amour blush here which is amazing. It just creates it's the perfect natural flush. And of course, you gotta have red lipstick, and I love Max Ruby Woo. It is the best matte red lipstick, but it is cray cray to put it on, so you're gonna need just a little bit of time and patience with it. And because this can be a little drying, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Butter Lip Balm Over the Top in Red Velvet, and this just melts onto your lips and helps hydrate them. So makeup is finished and good to go, and now it's time to talk about some outfits. Let's do this. Okay, so this first look is something that you can pretty much wear anywhere but I think it would be great for a party. It's something that's comfortable and cozy and I love snuggly sweaters like this. This one is one of my favorites from Roselle. And for accessories, I like things that are a little bit more minimal so I just kept it simple with some bracelets and a couple rings. And since my lips and nails are red, I thought it would be cool to add a pop of red on my feet. So these are my Ivanka Trump pumps that I love. I am just all about this look because it just shows you that you can dress up basic black and white in your wardrobe with some red and totally get a holiday vibe. Now if you feel like wearing a dress or a skirt but you don't want to be too over the top, this is going to be the look for you. So I'm bundled up here. I'm going to unbundle so you can see what's underneath. I have on a black turtleneck sweater tucked into a skirt. And 
And I think that the trench that I had over the top just really adds a different element to the look and keeps it from looking like a flat black and gray outfit. Then I have on my favorite blanket scarf. This is from Madewell and it's flannel. It's super warm, it's really chunky, and I love it. And you can see on the skirt there are actually these really cool wool panels. And I just love how it pairs with the turtleneck and these really cool shoes. These are like loafers that have almost like a schoolgirl vibe to them. And if you went to Playlist in New Jersey, then you probably recognize this outfit because I was wearing it. That is gonna be it for my holiday look today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys. I am doing giveaways every single day on my second channel because I'm doing Vlogmas, but I wanted to do some stuff here on my main channel just in case you don't watch my vlog channel. For prizes, the first thing I'm gonna be giving away is the MAC Ruby Woo lipstick that I used in this video and I'm wearing right now, and then also the Hourglass Ambient Blushes. So I I use the highlighter, but the blushes are really pretty. So one person will be winning both of those things. If you guys want to enter, the rules are gonna be a little bit different, but you know, I feel like it may actually be more fun for you guys. All you have to do is, my boyfriend was like, can your viewers make edits of you with puppies and donuts? So that is what I'm gonna have you guys do. Go over to my Twitter, which is Hey Ingrid Nelson. Make sure you're following me so in case you win, I can get in touch with you. And then from there, you just have to make an edit, including myself, dogs and donuts, whatever you wanna do, including those three things, and then send them to me on Twitter using the hashtag Gridmas and include this video link. And that is all you have to do. I will be choosing my favorite one and sharing it and then getting in touch with the winner so you can get your prizes. That is gonna be it for today. I'm gonna get going. If you missed any of my last videos, you can watch my last one right here. And then you can also click the other box to watch my most recent Vlogmas video because I am vlogging every single day up until Christmas. So if you want to check out what I'm doing over on my other channel, lots of Ingrid things during the holidays, you can go and watch me live my life. So I will see you over there or see you in my next Christmas video. Bye guys.